is DK and I'm back like I never left because I'm cooking up content like a chef, shooting videos like I'm Steph uh, Curry. So hurry up, subscribe because it's time for us to slide. Now that I got that out the way, let's talk about something very serious. This is not a, a gig to video. This is a, a serious video. Um, like last week, like five days ago, I did a video of me being surrounded by multiple police officers and multiple squad cars at Lowe's, which is a home improvement store. Um, I did get some good feedback and I got some bad feedback from this video. Now, shout out to everybody that did give me some feedback on the video, but I do want to address some things about the video. I got a lot of comments. I got some good ones and I got some, also got some bad ones. Well, not really bad, but things that other people would have done different than what I did. Let me go ahead and break this down to you. So pretty much what happened was I went to Lowe's, I went to go use the bathroom, I came back out, I saw a police car drive past, I saw another police drive, car drive past. I'm thinking in my head, where is all these police going? Why is all these police around here? Next thing you know, they pulled up, they approached me, then they asked me for my ID. Let's go ahead and start right there. A lot of people had an issue with me giving the officer my ID. They said they wouldn't get him the ID because you didn't do anything wrong. Um, you, know, you need to know your rights, you need to follow your rights, you need to do all this, you need to do all that. I, I absolutely understand everything that everybody's saying and everybody has their own opinion on what they would or wouldn't have done versus what I've did. Now, let me give you guys a scenario and reason of why I did what I did. First off, why did I give him my ID? I don't know if you guys know this, have you ever been uh, pulled over by police or ever talked to a police officer? Majority of the time, they're gonna ask for your identifications to make sure you, didn't, you don't have a warrant. Now, they already had got a call in about something happened. I really don't know what really happened. They said that they got a call about something happened and I heard on a, uh, on a, a walkie talkie there, there was a, a black Sprinter van and a white car. Something happened with that. Now, I do want to say this about the ID. The reason why I did give them the ID is because I don't want any problems. And I understand that we all have rights. I get it. You need to do your right. You need to know your rights. I get all that. But also understand me. You don't understand me. You don't know me. You know you. And what you don't know is I have a concealed carry. So I know that they probably ran the license plates. And when they run license plates, they're gonna know that you do have a concealed carry. And learning from my concealed carry class and learning from my instructor in my concealed carry class, the person that was instructing us in the concealed carry class is a former police officer. So I, I look, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm not here to make any problems. So what I'm gonna do is give him my ID. So he gonna know I got the concealed carry. Everybody gonna know everything. We gonna keep everything on up and up. And I understand that some people may say he, they was profiling me, they may, they, they may be this and maybe that. I get it. But also understand that some people that may be saying that you may have never been in a situation like this. Things could go left at any given moment. Not to mention, on top of me giving him ID, everything was cool. And why did I, oh, now, now, let's talk about this. Why did I talk to the officer so much? I talked to the officer so much was to bring down everything, calm everything down. You want to be standoffish, you don't want to talk to him. I understand that I don't have to do that. I, I get it. I understand all that. But everybody want to talk and say that what they want to say on the computer, but in real life, it's different in real life. So, no, I did not have to get the officer my ID. I understand that part. I gave it to him to resolve the situation. Let him know, I ain't got nothing to hide from you. I'm not here to cause any problems. I went in the thing, came out, minding my business. Give my ID, everything was good. Then he doubled back, he came back again. Yes, he came back again, he said the sergeant this and all that, and then they want me to get out the car. Now, I get it, you in your head right now, like, I would never do no stuff like that, that's lame, that's stupid. I might incriminate myself, I, I understand what you're saying, but guess what? This is clearing the air right now. So when I get out the car, Guess how many officers there? It was literally six cars and a minimum of eight police officers surrounding the van, surrounding the whole van. Now, think about this. What would have happened if I didn't comply? Think about that. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you a couple seconds. Oh, nothing would have happened. You didn't have to comply. You could have drove by. I understand what y'all saying, but guess what? This is in real time. This is not. This is not Grand Theft Auto. This ain't. This for real. This not. This not a video game. It's not none of that stuff. If you didn't comply, now you have. I already got with me complying. I already have eight police officers right here. A minimum of eight. Six six, six quad cars surrounding the van. So if I don't comply, now what? Well, you ain't have to comply. You need to know your right. I understand what you're saying, but people 
always get unalived every day by police officers. Are you gonna be dumb enough? I understand, you can do what you wanna do. Are you gonna be dumb enough to lose your life over you wanting to know your rights? You got rights. I'm, and I'm not saying that was gonna happen, but what I'm saying is you never know the mindset of any of those officers right there. It wasn't just one, it was at least eight of them. So if one of them have a, a bad mindset or they had a bad day or something, you never know what may happen. With me complying, it's gonna clear the air and it's gonna calm down everything. I'm here to calm down everything. My job is to make my money and go home. One of my mom's worst fears is one is me getting gunned down by a police officer. That's one of her worst fears. She always said this to me. So my job is to do what I need to do to make sure I make it home. I understand that y'all saying about this rights and all that stuff. I get it. You think you uh in GTA, you think you Rambo, you're gonna do all hey. You could play, be stupid if you want to. Be stupid if you want to. You think ain't nothing gonna happen to the, hey, be stupid if you want to. Don't forget you have, no, fan, friends, family, loved ones, kids. What are all of them people gonna think when you're no longer here because you wanna know your rights? Because you wanna not comply with the police officer. And I understand that we come from different environments. We come from environments where I'm not telling the police, that's everything, that sound all good. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Tough Guy, it sound all good in theory. Don't let these rappers, entertainers, and all this stuff, and all these people sing you off. Don't let them sing you off. And I understand that everybody, we need to start somewhere. We need to, hey, I'm not starting nothing. I'm telling you right now. You go ahead and start it. You can start it. You can start this all this one, this, this police stuff. You can start it all you want to, and then call me later on. I'm not starting nothing because this is the thing, right? The same people who said we need to fight back, we need to do this, they're going to be the same people running off when something happens. When, some, when them shots get to firing and them shots get to firing, ain't nobody going to have nothing to say. Everybody going to be running and crying, ducking it. Everybody going to be doing all that. Then, once I'm no longer here because I don't want to comply with the police officers because I'm having a bad day, it's hot outside, I got an attitude with them, they got an attitude with me, things get out, uh, we back and forth yelling at each other and get out of control and then I'm no longer here and guess what's going to happen? Everybody who has something to say about, oh, I wanted this, all the people who had something to say, guess what's going to happen? Dang, that was messed up, he's stupid, he shouldn't have did that. Now, hey, I ain't listening to y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, don't let these people send you off. He shouldn't have did that. That was dumb. I don't know why he did that. He should have just did what they said. That's what they're going to say after that. And then they're going to say, man, I love DDK. I miss DDK. Y'all going to talk about me for one week. And then after that week, y'all going to move on to the next one. Whatever gossip going on then, that's what y'all going to talk about then. Ain't nobody going to be checking on my mom, seeing how she's doing. Ain't nobody going to be calling my family members, seeing how they're doing. Ain't nobody going to be doing none of that stuff that y'all act like y'all going to be doing when y'all saying, oh, I think. Look, I've gotten this far in my life because I've always made my own decisions, did my own thing. I don't, I don't not let other people influence what I think and how I move. I'm not listening to nobody. I'm going to do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, and how I want to do it. You guys can do what you want to do, but I do want to say this. I understand your take on it. I get it. I didn't have to comply with the police officer. I didn't have to give them my ID. I didn't have to get out the car. I didn't. Honestly, if you want to be honest about it, after they, I talked to him the first time, he got the ID, he, he walked off, everything was cool. I could have just drove off then. But I'm still chilling. I'm trying to give me some orders. I didn't think it was no big deal. I'm chilling. I'm, I ain't bothering nobody. He wanted to check my ID. He uh, he said it was a situation. That situation ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm here minding my business. And it went from there. So I understand what everybody thinks. I understand what everybody feels. Um, shout out to everybody who made a comment on the video. I, I do get everything that you guys are saying. But I made these decisions because guess what? I knew I was covered. I knew that if, if anything, even if they take me downtown, even if they take me downtown, guess what? I'm still alive. Ain't no problems. Even if they say, even if somebody lied on me, the dude, whoever, a woman or whoever was in, it was a dude. It was like a younger, he was like probably like 20s. He was young, his younger 20s. Regardless of what he said, whether he said it was me or whether it was not me, I do have footage. I got the footage. I got the camera. I got my camera. We got Lowe's got the cameras. It's cameras everywhere. So they gonna know that I was sitting there, I wouldn't bother nobody, they gonna see all that stuff. And yes, I might have to go downtown to the precinct or wherever I might have to go, but I'm gonna be right out. Instead, me not complying and making a big scene and a big uh, ordeal about this could have cost me my life. And I'm not willing to risk it. I ain't willing to risk it for the biscuit. I'm not willing to risk it to, so I can be cool on the internet. I don't care nothing about that. My job is again to make it home. And that was my miniature rant. It really wasn't a rant. I do want to say huge shout out to everybody that gave me a feed, gave me some feedback on the video. And huge shout out to the people who subscribed from the video. Um, I didn't expect that to happen. I, I was just out there getting busy uh, making some money and then that all that happened. And I just want to say this. Please be smart. Do not do dumb stuff. I understand that we all have rights and we think that we can do this. Look, I get it. But at the end of the day, 
if something happens and they unalive you, the only thing that's gonna happen to them for the most part, they're gonna get suspended with pay or without pay, it doesn't matter. And you're no longer going to be here. And then your family and friends and all that stuff. And everybody might ride, yes, about the George Ford thing. Everybody might ride and all that stuff. And everybody might do this and everybody might do that. But guess what? At the end of the day, your parents and whoever your loved ones and family members are, they're still going to have to deal with that for the rest of their lives. They're still going to have to deal with that. So make sure you guys are thinking about that type of stuff before you just make these rational decisions and think you're just going to be uh rambo and all this I, I i believe you me i get it it sounds good and you see it on the video games and all that but in real life things are different always think about making your way home and think about your kids and your your your, your family members and your loved ones because what the people don't tell you is yes everybody did write about george Floyd and all that stuff but how many people checking on his kids and family members are they really checking on them still it sounds good and look good on the internet Everybody always, we're going to make this fun and we're going to do this. That fun and all that money and all that stuff is only going to last for so long. But at the end of the day, you're no longer going to be here. And I'm not saying that this is always going to happen. Like, this might happen to you. or That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is use your head. Use your head. Pause. Make sure that you are thinking clearly. And please be safe out there. That's all I want to tell you. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up. And before we go, y'all already know what I'm about to say. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up if you a part of the crew. Y'all know we love what we do. I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.